Hey guys, I'm Caleb. And I'm Mark. And, and we're, we're the Ovalabi Brothers. Brothers. Two guys who don't have time to cook, but who still want to eat well and eat healthy. So we developed some really cool recipes that you can make practically anywhere with Ingles ingredients. My little brother Caleb is a fashion rock star <laughs> and aspiring media mogul. So anything he makes has to have some spirit. And Dr. Marco Alabi here, he's a medical doctor and a culinary artist. So everything he makes is good for the mind and body. Today, we're making a spiced lamb chop on a bed of roasted cabbage. With a nice root vegetable medley, with a coconut glaze. Everything here we got from Ingles. Let's, Let's get, get cooking. cooking. Mark, what do we got first? I mean, we gotta cut these up and place them in the bed of the pan, right? Exactly, we want our vegetables in the bottom of our baking pan over right. here. So we got this big piece of cabbage we're gonna start with here. Okay. But first, I wanna cut out the hard core in the middle. Okay. So that's not gonna be very palatable. So I've cut that out, and then I wanna kinda dice that really thin. First, I'll cut this in half, put that off to the side. Great. And now the, the cabbage is really gonna soak in a lot, of the, the, a lot of the juices from the meat. All right, we'll just kinda loosely throw that into our baking pan over there. Now we preheated the oven at 350, right? Correct. Baked at 350. And we've already got this pan hot as well. Okay, so yeah, let me also mince this garlic here and we'll mix that in with the cabbage. You can go ahead and pour that into the pan and get it nice and hot while I mince this garlic here. So guys, this is what we're gonna use to sear the lamb right before we add the turmeric spices. Light olive oil, I like to use it for high heat cooking. It holds up a little better at high temperatures as opposed to extra virgin olive oil, which is better for your low temperature cooking. All right, I mince up uh, one clove of garlic. I've tossed it in with my cabbage there. Mm -hmm. Lastly, I'll throw in about half a cup of uh, onions there. You know, these things, onions, cabbage, I mean, these are really great things called prebiotics. I'm just gonna throw a little bit of salt into our vegetable here. Just a touch of salt, touch of black pepper. Maybe a little bit of chili powder as well. You know, normally when we cook, I'm usually trying to jump the gun, so I want the meat yes, in there. You are. I'm a meat and potatoes kind of guy. <laughs> How about you throw a little bit of oil in there and okay. then we're just gonna massage these vegetables. Right here on the vegetables? Just a tad. All right, like yeah. that? That'll do. Okay. And if you could go ahead and massage that together and I'll okay. get this, these lamb chops ready to go. Put, it, put your arm into it there, just. Okay. Okay. And now my pan's getting nice and hot, so I'm gonna go ahead and season my lamb chops here. Got these big, beautiful lamb chops from Ingle. That aroma is just beautiful with the spices in there. Definitely. And Caleb, if you could help me pour a little bit of oil onto this uh, lamb chop. I just wanna coat it with oil before I sear it in the pan. Okay. Just a little bit will do. Good. So I take it in one hand, with my clean hand, I'm just gonna go ahead and add my spices here. A bit a of salt, salt there. there. Some black pepper, and I'll right. season both sides. Right. I got chili powder here. That got smells unbelievable. Cayenne pepper here, add a little heat. And I've got some turmeric here, and I got some chili powder here. Good. Okay, so now it's nice encrusted with all these uh, spices. I'll just place it on the hot pan. Okay. We'll just let it brown on one side, and when it's done and golden brown, then we'll flip it to the other side. Great, right. And then we'll end by placing it on that bed of cabbage there and then throw it in our oven. So we're gonna finish browning this one up, and then we're gonna brown the rest of the chops up, and we'll be right back. All right, great, well we browned up these lamb chops here. I'm just finishing the last one here. Smell it so good. And look at that color on the both sides. You just want that golden brown color really before caramelized. you place it in the, in, the, in the oven. And of course, our ovens are set to 350 degrees. You wanna preheat those ovens so they're nice and hot. And I'll go ahead and place the rest of these lamb chops on my bed of cabbage here. You know, and as that fat cooks down, it's really gonna coat the cabbage and make a really delectable side dish. Very nice. All right, well, we're gonna get these in the oven, and then we'll be back to do an amazing side dish. You're not gonna wanna miss it. All right, folks, the lamb is in the oven. I placed some tin foil over the top of that to let that uh, bake in the oven. And while we're doing that, I'm just, we're gonna get our roasted root vegetables ready. First, I'm gonna slice up my plantain here. Uh, so I'm just gonna dice this up nice and thin here. I wanna dice these to the same thickness so that they cook evenly. I don't want my plantain to be done before my sweet potatoes and vice versa. And it's perfect, they, they, these, this side dish cooks at the same temperature as our lamb. Okay. 
You know, and this is not a banana, it is a plantain. <laughs> yeah, it's a big part of a, uh, Central American cuisine. Okay. Uh, generally fried in a lot of different countries, but I'm gonna roast mine today uh, after I douse them with coconut oil. And overall, we use a little bit less oil and maintain some of the delicious roasted flavors that you get in the fried plantain. Why don't you go ahead and uh, line your baking sheet with a little bit of oil. Okay, so this is Laurel Lynn coconut oil that I'm lining the pan with. Good. And then right. go ahead and massage it in there, cover each surface. Okay. And before you spray it out in the pan, go ahead and coat everything with the rest of the coconut oil. Okay. I went ahead and melted some coconut oil uh, beforehand. You know, coconut oil is pretty hard at room temperature, so you wanna go ahead and melt it so it's easier to work with. So yeah, you go ahead and, and toss everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead and get your hands in there. While you're doing that, I'm gonna throw a little bit of salt and pepper. Oh yeah. A little salt and black That's pepper. That's ground exactly. pepper. Okay. Go ahead and coat some more. Okay. Okay, and then we'll space it out in the pan here. Okay. We don't want them on top of each other so that they'll be able to cook evenly. Okay, how's that? Looks like those puppies are ready for the oven. Okay. All right, guys, we're gonna get these in the oven with the lamb. Again, they cook at the same temperature, and then we'll be right back. All right, guys, it just came out of the oven, our spiced lamb chops on a bed of roasted cabbage here. And we got our root vegetable medley here with the plantains and the sweet potato glazed with that coconut. And guys, it smells amazing. We wanna thank you for joining us here at Ingles Table. Remember to check out the rest of the site for more amazing tips, tricks, and recipes. See you next time.